This course is intended for management level employees as it requires self-motivation and considerable reading is expected. Although many of the screen pages, like this one, include insights in audio segments. The audio content can be replayed as many times as you like, provided you're still on the same screen page. Still, the reading material is very important, and generally, you should read pages before clicking the audio. Don't be complacent or you may have trouble on the exams scattered throughout the course. And each audio section ends with this sound. Based on ISO IEC 17025-2005, this internal auditor training program consists of more than 220 screen pages which examine and explain internal audit requirements for ISO 17025. A good internal audit should be as extensive as the audit conducted by an outside third-party auditor. The self-examination demanded by an internal audit should serve to improve the chances that external audits will go smoothly and result in few or no non-conformances. What a headache! That's surely what many employees think when they hear of an approaching internal audit. But the standard requires it. The call for an internal audit is included in Section 8.2, Monitoring and Measurement. Internal audits, sometimes called first-party audits, are conducted by or on behalf of the organization itself for internal purposes and can form the basis for an organization's self-declaration of conformity. The organization is required to conduct the audits within scheduled time frames to ensure that the quality management system is maintained. More on this when we get to Section 8.2. L-O-R-C, LORC. That's a mnemonic to help you remember listening, observing, reading, and comparing. Ask questions, then listen. Observe the people you interview and what they actually do. Read work instructions and process documentation. Compare the process as defined on paper to the process as executed. The theoretical process as written on paper is generally viewed as the audit criteria and the audit is to examine the alignment of that criteria with actual practices. The auditor is trying to find the status of that audit criteria, that is, whether the audit criteria conforms or does not conform to actual practices. Paper versus real world. Match or mismatch. Notice that these four tools all seek to gather information. Perhaps you would have expected the word communication to be here, but communication is an exchange of information. The auditor is interested in taking in information and nearly wears a poker face. Almost all of the speaking you do should be in the form of a question. The course includes eight quizzes comprised of 90 questions in total. Students' written responses to these quizzes are sent through secure email and responses from one of our experienced instructors are returned to the student, again via email. Of course, students always have the option to call and argue, chat, or discuss with our instructors. The course also includes a link to the 17025 standard in Adobe Acrobat so that students can follow along with the standard as they progress through the course. That PDF document is also fully searchable to assist in quizzes and for actual audit reference. The most common nonconformities found for Section 5.6 include using unapproved or non-accredited calibration providers and labs not calibrating equipment prior to putting it into service. Students go over the standard clause by clause and read and hear insightful comments, explanations, and applications relating to the real world of test and calibration labs. Course objectives include learning methods, processes, and concepts of quality system internal auditing. To gain deeper familiarity with the requirements of the ISO IEC 17025-2005 standard. To discover, build, and enhance your skills as an internal auditor. 
to learn to identify opportunities for improving your lab's quality manual and its implementation. Here's just a few of the essay questions you will encounter in this course. Additional information and a more comprehensive demonstration of this program course can be found at our website.